All right, we're recording. Okay, so I sent out the agenda through the email, um, through the guild's email. So hopefully everybody has it. Um, if not, I can always pop it into the chat, I think. Um, but essentially it's the basic kind of um, format that we've had this whole time talking about each individual group, but I did add in the open studio uh, component um, just to kind of revisit that idea. But I guess we'll start with Instagram. So Kay and I have a few updates there. Um, I don't know, Kay, do you wanna take over or do you want me to talk about it? Yeah, I think whatever works, it's, yeah, whatever. Okay, um, so we have meet our members. We are still trying to do the direct contact approach. We're not getting as much response from that as we are from the takeovers. So we did get, I think, Emma from that. And then um, otherwise we haven't really had anybody fill out the application for it. So we just sort of talked about doing it every other Friday instead of every Friday to kind of take that pressure off. And we let um, Tuan know about that since she's been kind of um coordinating that specific thing or that specific program and then for takeover tuesdays we actually have like a lot of progress done there we're booked until let me look at my calendar real quickly we are fully booked this month with the exception of next tuesday and then we have two people for May, I think at least two people for May. Two people for June. I think we have two people all the way out until until September or August. So that's pretty good. Um, we're pretty excited about that. We also didn't want to keep going because we wanted to give a little bit more space and time for people to start applying to it and to not say, okay, well, we don't have anything available for you until November, <laughs> you know? Um, so that's been kind of nice. Uh, but I think that's it for Instagram, unless I'm mistaken, Kay. Nope, you're good. Cool. Um, and then for the open studio, this is probably gonna take more time. So I tried to put it earlier in the schedule um in the future i guess i should start with talking about what just happened so i think that went really well um i don't know if anybody else has any other like differing thoughts on it but it was a fun event um i do think just from going through it it probably could be a longer event i do think that would have been a good idea and i don't know if we are all really necessary to be there each time so those are some things I kind of wanted to talk about. Like, do we want to do this again? Do we, we've had some requests to do it like monthly. Um, and then if we do it in the future, if we do it, you know, on a regular basis, what would that regular basis be? Would it be monthly? Would it be on specific Fridays, like a first Friday thing? Or, um, and also what kind of length would we want to put to that? So I'm gonna ask you all what you think about that. I really liked, um, I liked the length of it. I think by what, cause it went two hours until like I left, right? Initially it was two hours and then it ended up going a little bit longer because a few people wanted to stick around. And it was nice to have like some people come like in and out and share what they were doing. <clears throat> Um, monthly, I thought, yeah, I love the idea of it being monthly I as well, Olivia. Um, it just like, I don't know, for me, it was really fun to just like, not even as like a board member, but as like a, a participant, um, I just thought it was fun. I don't know. Like we were, it was casual, we were talking and it was nice to like work too. I don't know. I haven't actually... I just like realized in this one year of like Zoom pandemic 
that I haven't actually like gotten on Zoom in like an open studio situation before and done like worked alongside people. Um, and I kind of missed that a little bit. It was really fun. Oh, I'm curious, Kay, like Stephanie, what did y'all think of it? <clears throat> yeah, it was awesome. I'd like to do it again. And um, yeah, I think once a month would be really cool with me. And I think it could go three hours, like maybe it could be scheduled for three instead. Um, yeah, I think eventually it'd be kind of nice if like we could do some themed ones, like some of them can be really open and then some can be themed. But yeah, I was really into it. It was great. Ooh, what kind of themes are you thinking? Like, I don't know, my brain jumped to like under the sea. I don't know why, but I'm sure that's probably not what you're thinking. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I was thinking about sort of like, um, like we can, we can invite people to like lead the, the open studio and then we have like discourse with people. Um, but that's like what I was thinking, but I actually really love the idea of us coming sort of like dressed up or something. I don't know. That would be so cool. <laughs> yeah, no, I, oh my gosh, my voice is trying to go. So sorry. Um, no, I figured you weren't thinking under the sea, which is why I wanted to ask. Um, but no, I like that idea. But I do also, maybe for like, maybe if we have one around Halloween where like we can just choose a day. Maybe that could be, if we do it multiple times, maybe that could be like the first Friday. I don't know if we do it more than monthly, like once a month. I don't know, just thought. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, we could do like, I feel like my go-to is always like 80s themes or something. So I think we can get a little more creative. Um, we could even do some cool stuff where we like, we use the Instagram stories for people to like vote. Like we give them either or, and we like combine the either ors. I did that at um, like a workshop one time and it was like really, really fun. Um, it could be like wizards and monsters on one slide and then they pick either one of those. And then the next slide is like uh, lizards and under the sea or something. And then they pick that. And then we take the ones that are voted for most and we combine them. Like, I know I'm getting like very specific here, but yeah, we could make it real fun and like interactive and they could have some, some choice in it. Sorry to derail. That's just where my brain took me. But we can we can move on. <laughs> Sorry. No, I think that's I think a good like idea. A, yeah, a really good idea. We could even have like a pets night. <laughs> um, which okay, every day with me is a pets day. <laughs> but I think you know that would be a good, fun way to be like, hey, like I want to get to know my fellow members. Here's my lizard named Iggy. You know, here's my snake, here's my dog, here's my cat. Maybe I'll actually show Bowie for once instead of just pumpkin all the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that would be cool to have those kinds of themes and I especially like the idea of having people vote on those themes through um, Instagram and having them kind of tied to like the non non-religious holidays or even when we do religious holidays we could just do something in december that's like hey you know yeah bring your pet to work that's really cute <laughs> yeah so that's yeah, i think the, a good thing something else i was thinking of too is like we can just to kind of like i don't know uh not like I don't know, I guess capitalize on those events to like our contact with like direct members in that way. It could be the type of thing at the very beginning, like we just say like, welcome everybody, you know, and as people sort of come in, um, we can like repeat it <clears throat> like we did kind of during the event, like we continuously like repeated like, well, we have captions, like, you know, here's some stuff to like, you know, here's what to do. And then also like, oh, hi, thanks for joining. If you want to like introduce yourself in a moment, you know, or like make space for them to like introduce themselves as they come in, um, which I think worked really well to like break some of the nerves up in the beginning because people were nervous. But I was also thinking to like, just reminding them that the Meet Our Members calls and the Takeover Tuesdays are a thing that we do and that if they haven't done it yet, that it could like, a, like I don't know, kind of like a brief commercial just to be like, hey, don't forget about this too. Like it's a great way <clears throat> to do that. And I think like, 
could spark interest or you know whatnot. So that's something to think uh, think about. That yeah. would be like the only news thing. That's a really good idea, actually. Like I I don't know. Um, like I'm thinking about the format that like the the art prof on YouTube that you recommended, Ruben. Um, I'm thinking about like her format where there's like on the screen you can have just like a constant image up. Like maybe we could figure out a way to do that so that um, people could see it. And of course we would like remind them in the chat, but like, I don't know, something like that where it's like a graphic that they can take a peek at. Um, and I also wanted to mention, you said something about captions. I am not happy with like the captions that we had last time. So I would, I can't imagine that anybody's like super happy with them. I feel like they were pretty like unreliable. So I would like to look for another option. Like it's, it, it did a fine enough job, but like it just was not even close to like what I thought it needed to be. So I'm gonna continue looking for that and seeing if we find something even better. What were you looking for specifically? For captions, mm -hmm. um, like in order to use those captions, um, it looks like we have to be like super, like we have to enunciate or ugh, enunciate. We have to like really be clear and, and speak slowly for it to actually understand what we're saying. And so, you know, if we have folks that are like really using those to follow along, it's just like difficult. Like even someone, if I turned my sound off and I was like just reading them, it would have been difficult for me to follow along, you know? Um, and so I, yeah, I just think we can do better. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I think the biggest issue is, I mean, even if we do tell people like you need to enunciate, you need to speak slowly and deliberately, there's still the issue of connection, you know, and connectivity and like how that is going to impact the captioning service. So I definitely agree with that. Um, I'm also kind of wondering if we could set up, I don't know if we would need to wait for this, um, but if we could set up some kind of like mutual aid fund where people could donate to us being able to pay for a better captioning service. Um, that I think might be an avenue for us to pursue, but I'm not entirely sure how we can <laughs> avoid taxes on that one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find another free version because like this one worked and it was like the first thing that I found or one of the first things I found and tested out and I found it worked okay. But like in the real life setting um, where you're not just like making a recording, like I need to find one that's like specifically for like live events rather than for I'm recording a video and posting to canvas or something, you know, so I, I can totally look for a couple more free ones and um, and see, you know, what we can find there. And if that doesn't work, then yes, I agree. Like finding some way to pay for it would be super cool. And then was the was the one that Ruben suggested in the group message, was that something that could like get somehow linked to Zoom? I'm not I'm not sure. Which one remind sorry, I was typing something real quick. I what think was it was. Oh, it's okay. I think it was like cap cut or something like that. It was the thing from the Twitter post that you shared. Oh, God, I gotta go back and look at that. Yeah. I've had like a long <laughs> couple of weeks and I'm like forgotten now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look. It was called, sorry, it's loading. Yeah, cap cut. It auto generates captions pretty well with no watermarks. Um, but I think that might be like post production and not live events. So I'm not sure, but that might be somewhere to look or start at least when you're looking. Okay. Um, and then let me know if you need any help looking for that kind of stuff because I definitely, um, if I can sit down and focus on it for a while, I'd like to be able to help you with that. Sure, yeah. What was the name of that one more time? You said cap cut? Yeah, I'll put it in the chat. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mm 
so yeah, I think that's somewhere we could start and we could also, you know, poll our members, try and get them involved, ask them if they know anything because their their knowledge base is probably gonna be stronger than ours. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I think uh, one thing we didn't we didn't fully address was Stephanie suggested that we did like the last Friday of every month. Does that sound like something that would be uh, like a doable kind of routine? Yeah, I like that because we have first Friday here. Um, and in the event that something would need to like, I would need to like go to an opening or something or like see something that a student was doing. If one of our mm -hmm. students had an opening on first Friday, I'd like to be able to go to that. <clears throat> so I like the idea of final Friday because I don't hear that as much. I know like Lawrence used to do it, like Lawrence, Kansas, where I went to grad school, but not many other places do it. So I like final okay. Friday. Cool, so we could do it on the final Fridays. Um, would we want to do something this month? That would give us a week of turnaround because that would be the 27th. I vote start it next month, just to give us a bit more time. I think that's a good idea too, because then we can promote it more. Um, although, you know, and we might not need to promote it that much, but still. Yeah. Next. And it would give us some time to brainstorm too about like what ways that we can use that as like, I don't know, I'm just thinking about collective care and like the that kind of like contact that can happen through all of that. And just like, even by doing just like the fun things, like it allows us to like think about, you know, what, you know, a fun theme or yeah, time to test new caption app. Right, completely agree, Olivia. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I think that would give us like some time. Perfect. Okay, so I'm I have my calendar open right now, so I'm gonna just pencil it in, um, just so it's in our minds. So that would be May twenty eighth. So do we? What was the time that we had it last time? Do we want to just revisit the actual time later or do we want to decide it now? I think I'd like to decide it now just so that like we don't have to think about it again. After. You know what I mean? Like why not just like get it out of the way? Okay. Um, I think we did it five to seven Eastern time. Is that right? Last yes. time? No, I think it was seven to nine because I remember it was, oh. it was late even though my dental appointment wasn't that long. My mouth just was awful, that's all. <laughs> um, so I think, what what was the times that we were going in between last time? Because I know Olivia's in the in the MST and then we did have some people that came in from the Pacific Standard Time. So what times I think would work, what times would work best for that day for everyone? It's not that we all have to be there the entire time. I do think it's perfectly fine for us to kind of cut in and out. Um, it ended up happening anyway at that last meeting. So I don't know, what do you all think? What would be a good range of time for you in your own time zone? I think um, in my time zone, the same time that we did for the first one worked okay for me but i'm like it's mainly because i finish working on fridays at four um but that's also like my schedule is going to significant by that by the time we do the next event like i won't have to work actually on fridays because the semester will be over so mine's the same as ruben's i work until four on fridays at my other job and so any time from five past that is good for me. Okay, cool. So it seems like after five or 6 p.m. CST on Friday. So what if we kept, and then Olivia said 8 p.m. EST and after. So what if we just did seven to 10? Is that like weird feeling or does that feel good? EST, sorry. Okay. We talked about three hours, so that's the only reason I said seven to 10. We can make it longer or shorter if you want. Um, Let's try three. We did two last time, and then we'll try three this time and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. 
So 7 to 10 p.m. EST, I'm gonna put it on the calendar for that time. Would you mind adding me to that, uh, Becky? Like invite my email to it? If you're in the yeah, room. Okay, sweet, sweet. Thank you. I just set it up so that it was like on my desktop. So I'm gonna try and see if it works. <laughs> um, hopefully it works, let me see. I'm gonna put it here. And then invite Kay. Is it all right if I just invite everyone? That works for me. Okay, cool. Oh no, it didn't import any of the contacts. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll do that later instead of kind of clogging up our meeting with me trying to figure it out. Okay, so I have it 7 to 10 p.m. EST on March, nope, May 28th. Does that sound good to everybody? All right, cool. Okay. Oh, yes, okay, please do. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so I think that's that for the meeting. Unless there's anything anybody else can think of that, I didn't, that we didn't talk about or explore so i think what i will do is um i don't mind just leaving my computer open the whole time so maybe i what i'm worried about is that at the end of this like may semester i'm gonna lose access to my like paid zoom account so I don't know if I will, because theoretically I'm supposed to teach again in fall, but I also don't know if I won't. <laughs> so maybe, I don't know, is anybody okay with just kind of leaving their computer open until the end of the meeting so we're not worried so much about host switching and stuff? Yeah, I don't mind doing that. <clears throat> um, and I think one thing that I was also i could also do is like it's just a where it's just like an open room like i like the host doesn't have to like be here except to like maybe set controls and whatnot but if i do that all in the beginning then i can like leave oh okay and actually leave the meeting and not like end the call like i did last <laughs> time which i was like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> okay but, yeah but yeah, I think that because I think that's something we can do because I know like one other group, this other group that I, I am part of, like, that's what they do. Okay, that's an interesting idea. I haven't tried that yet, but um, and Liv said she could also do that. The Prime version, ooh, <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I also don't know if Prime is the right language. It's just the one where it like won't kick you off, essentially. <laughs> um, I, just, I know there's like the, the basic one where after like mm -hmm. an hour it kicks you out. So I, I don't know what to call the version I have. So Prime is premium or something. Cause I think I have the same one. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we revisit that closer to time and then talk about, you know, who would keep it open but I'll keep an I'll make a note that either Ruben or Liz could do it or both whichever way cool okay so I think that's probably it for open studio unless anybody thinks of anything else we can always come back to it um, and then I think the next one is the mailing list um, Ruben reorganized the folders so that's cool Hopefully everybody's taken like a quick look at that. Um, it's working pretty well, I think. I was so, gonna say, did y'all, does that kind of, does the way that I organized everything like make sense? I can like share what I did, um, hang on. Like, I don't, like hopefully it's not like too convoluted. And I think like, Whoever did it before, someone did it before with the labels. Uh, oh, wait, I was gonna share my screen. Actually, that's a bad idea. I'm not gonna do that. Um, 
because I don't want to share private emails. <laughs> but basically, oh, yeah. I set up like labels, and then like sub um, like sub labels underneath them. So like, to me, it made the most sense to essentially do membership teams and intern board as the labels, and they're color coded. Um, and so under membership, there are the topics, priority items, general questions, volunteer, opportunities and resources. And then under teams, I have those, I have then like a bunch of different sub labels I have <clears throat> that are also color coded. I have Instagram, incorporation, design, mailing list and YouTube. And then underneath each one is generally the same so it's then like another set of sub labels that are like general questions meet our members takeovers um you know stuff and maybe like relating to each one and we can always add labels to them as well and then the last one i had just have one for interim board so it's just like stuff relating emails like relating to us and whatnot um so yeah and then I was, I still need to like go through and like organize and categorize some of the previous emails. So that way, like they're in their sections, but that way, if you need to find something like it can like hopefully stay like super organized with that. Um, yeah, it was definitely, it makes sense to me um, to have it kind of organized that way. I think the only thing we might add to that later um is like an event section mm -hmm. but i think at this point you know we're not quite at the at the point where we'll need a dedicated label for that um we might be soon though <laughs> yeah i think like yeah for now I, that's why i made like for a member i just made membership one and then like priority items and like that would just be stuff like the event and whatnot um i think i are I may have archived the exhibition that we did. Or no, I put it under opportunities. That's what I did. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. I need to do more though. <laughs> There's more in mailing lists that I was wanting to do. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. <laughs> so but okay. I don't know, Stephanie, did you have anything you wanted to add? I don't, I don't think so. Um, that all sounds great and looks great to me. Cool. Oh, I also wanted to just ask, I did add some people last week or something like that to the mailing list, but I didn't do anything else with them. I hope that wasn't confusing or like it doesn't look confusing on the spreadsheet or didn't look confusing. I don't know if anybody went in there um, to like send them their welcome email and stuff, but just let me know if that ever gets to the point where it's like less than helpful <laughs> and I'll mind my business. Okay. Um, are your, how are your, of what my other question was, how are your um, scheduling things going? Like having your volunteers coordinated. Do you need more volunteers or anything like that? Um, well, I think you you were talking to Jameson. Is that right, or was it Ruben? And it was Jameson. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was or was or I meant yeah. Um, yeah. So, and then Clarissa said that she still wanted to help. So we just need to get a schedule together and then we'll know after that. Um, so I'll let yeah. you know as soon as we know. Okay. Or Ruben and I will let you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just I let think... me know if, if, oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was gonna say, I just like, I where I left off with Jameson was just saying like, I just welcomed them and just reiterated kind of what you said, um, Becky, when you came in. And I think they kind of mm -hmm. understood everything. And then I was also just being like, oh, I'm in the middle of doing things like the labels and whatnot, um, just sort of like restructuring what our essentially Google account 
look like. Yes, uh, Olivia, we're still on the mailing list. Um, but uh, yeah, and then they all Jameson said was just like, great, can't wait to hear back from you. So, you know, again, we'll, we'll meet up with Stephanie and I will meet, um, I don't know, probably a Sunday. I feel like Sundays work best for you and me, Stephanie. Um, we can meet and we can kind of talk about that. And take yeah, I, I agree with that. So you want to try for next Sunday? Sure, yeah, let's do it. Okay. That sounds good. I'll text okay. you. Okay, cool. And just let me know if I ever need to put anything into the newsletter asking for like volunteers for that specific area. Um, I've been trying to like make sure I'm keeping the language current with who we need volunteers for. So, and this goes for everybody that's organizing a team. Like if you notice like, oh, we need one more person to take on something else, you know? Mm -hmm. um, like for Instagram, maybe it gets to the point with events or like other stuff where we're just like, yeah, we need somebody to help us with the stories or something. Um, just let me know and I'll put that into the call because people do respond to those and they are like actually reading them and they'll occasionally say like, oh, I want to volunteer and this is actually, you know, I have the time now and I kind of have a sneaking suspicion that once the semester ends, we're going to end up with a bunch more people that want to volunteer. So I want to make sure I'm getting those, like getting people kind of aligned with the teams that need them most. So just let me know. Um, and let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Okay, cool. So I guess that's probably it for mailing list, right? Okay, and then, so the next one is incorporation. Right now we're scheduling our next meeting. The only person I haven't heard back from is Ani. Um, so I'm probably actually just gonna like send her a message. Um, Cause I do know sometimes the guild emails bounce into like people's promotions on their Gmails. Um, so she just might not have seen it yet. And then we're still looking for lawyers, accountants, and funding, and our next steps are still the same, um, revising the bylaws and then the members section. Um, but our vote is closed, and we did actually have more people participate in that vote, which was cool. Um, I think probably promoting it the day of, the day that it was going to close, was helpful to people to have them go, oh, yeah, I need to give you, give you my input on this. It wasn't like a huge uptick. It was, I think, like 11 or 12 people. But that was also significant because I think before that we had maybe four people vote on something. So four or five. So that's a pretty good, I think, increase. And hopefully it'll just increase even more from there. Um, I think that's probably it for incorporation, unless I'm forgetting anything, Kay. Nope, you got it. Perfect. Um, and then design, um, I know, I'm ju I just put in what I know about what's going on with the design team. The deadlines have been assigned to different members. Um, and then they've already finished the mailing list and then the volunteer, um, I put things because one is a video and then one is a graphic. And I don't know why I put things. I probably could have just typed graphics. <laughs> um, but I couldn't think of the word at the time. So both of those are done. I think they look pretty good. They're good to go ahead and start sharing. Um, I haven't sent UK the mailing list one yet. So, but that's in the Google Drive if you want to take a look at it. Yeah, I can um, take a look. Yeah. I did have and one. Then, sorry. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Um, so, uh, Barbara reached out to me uh, this weekend and they were asking me about like a visual schedule um, and I'm embarrassed to admit that I can't remember where we landed on that. I know that we were talking about a visual schedule for Instagram as far as like diversity holidays and then we kind of thought about straying away from that so I didn't know if maybe it was about you know how we're treating Instagram what we're posting on what day so I just wanted to look into that this weekend and then get back to them and then I thought to ask you all if y'all could remember where we landed on this, because I can't remember. Um, I also don't recall, but I don't think it's a bad idea to have like a visual calendar. Maybe what we could do is just like 
That might be more work. I was I was gonna suggest potentially just having like a blank blank calendar, and as things come up, we could like put stickers on the day to like mark events um, instead of having like one thing. But that is probably gonna be more work, um, just because we're not gonna know every holiday. So like if we are if we were like doing us like maybe the final Fridays could always be on there things that we know that we're always going to do but like other things that we're not sure of those could be more like stickers or something like that but that might honestly be more work than it's worth yeah I guess it would take some like leg leg work up front to like create little stickers and then just be able to like I think it would be easy after those were created because then we can just like have like a photoshop doc or something like that and then or an illustrator doc and just like slap the sticker on there and then upload it to instagram um yeah like i really like the idea of having a visual schedule and then it can like live in a story or something like that um and we could post it off like also but the story is obviously like a really great way to get it out there as well and a way for people to we can make a highlight for it and um yeah yeah, I don't know. I feel like we had this like idea for it. And now I'm kind of like, hmm, I might just brainstorm with like Barb and see what they think, you know, if we can't land on anything. Well, and I think I'm sorry, I'm trying to find um, an example of something. But I'm logging in on my computer for the first time. And they're like, are you sure you're you? <laughs> um, but there's a thing that I'm a part of on Patreon that has this like it's like a visual schedule um but it's essentially just for their like outward facing stuff kind of like what olivia was talking about where they have um they have events like witchcrafting which is just like a craft night game night and stuff like that and they release them on this i'm, gonna, I'm trying to copy the image to put it in the um, chat, but they make this like really cute. Hmm. Let's see if I can give you the image address without you being able to not see it. Oh, you know what? I could actually just share my screen. <laughs> I forgot that we were on uh, Zoom. So this is kind of what they do. And it is kind of like, I think this is what we're talking about, but I just wanted to give like an example so that we all, so that I know if I'm fully off base, I guess is really what's happening. Um, yeah, but is this kind of like what, what we're, what, I'm just, sorry. This is something that I was, like, this is what I was thinking of, something like this. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of, I think that would be a really cool thing for us to have because it, is something we can share on multiple platforms. Like I can attach that to the newsletter. It can also be something that goes out on Instagram um, with just like a really quick way to give a reminder of like, yeah, this is what we want to do this specific day, you know? Um, do you think, Kay, that this would help Barb with kind of designing? Should I send this to them? If you wouldn't mind sending it to me, we're communicating through Instagram right now. So, oh, yeah. and then I'll just compile like a list of all the things we're doing um, and include that in my response. How do y'all feel about um, including like our takeovers? Like, I don't want to put anyone like on the spot or like if someone backs out or something like that for a takeover, but we do have them scheduled out like months in advance. So it might be kind of cool to put the takeovers on there as well. If, if that sounds yeah. like a I can do that too. Yeah, I support takeovers. Okay. I think that would be good. I think it would also be a good way to, um, like we could say take over the specific person, but what we could do is like, if they do back out on that day, we can just say, hey, this person has backed out. Does anybody want to take on their day? And then if not, we just say, well, it's canceled today. You know, it's not, I think that should be fine. I don't think anybody would be like rebelling against us for doing that. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you all for brainstorming with me on that. Uh, that helps a lot. That's kind of what I was thinking, but I was like, I just want to double check with everybody. Yeah, absolutely. 
And then one um, other thing, this just brought this in, into my mind, but one other thing is um, we like, the logo is designed with a specific mint green and Barb asked, over the weekend like a really good question about whether or not you know for specifically for the mailing list if they needed to use that green or if there were any specific colors and I did say yes at that time just because mailing list is something that I think should maybe have those colors but that's like my personal call um, I was kind of wondering if y'all think that there's any specific set of colors that we should associate with certain things because like we do have the color coding on Instagram for YouTube posts voting posts and <clears throat> like event posts are purple is that something that we would extend into design and if so we should probably make like a list to send to the design team instead of each time it being kind of like an individual basis I don't know if that would actually make things easier Olivia but oh. it was something I was thinking about that is something we talked about at our last meeting um, and we just kind of came to the conclusion that certain things get certain colors get used for certain um, like groupings, but there are some inconsistencies in the past of like color usage. So um, yeah, a list would be very helpful um, because that was that was something we were already kind of paying attention to was color. Yeah, I think we could do like four colors, like have four key colors that we just that's like that's our guild color family that we work within and design within for like consistency and everything. And that would, I mean, that's kind of like the typical standard for like everywhere, but um, <laughs> CMYK. I kind of oh love God. it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> but like, um, it reminded me of that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Like, I think, that, I think that would just be really helpful for like some design consistency throughout as well and then that way we just we don't have to like think about design like we can just like cool we'll just pick and pull things yeah and I, I will say that i really love the open studio design that was made i loved how just like tactile and textural it was it felt like it just felt like really like um uh open and welcoming so i do want to also preserve like you know, the, the autonomy that the design team and, and like art, we're asking artists to make these designs. And I think that they, if they can show their hand, you know, I, I, that's where my personal preference is as well. Yeah, I think the main things are just like keeping it readable. Cause I, once I did post that on Instagram, I realized it probably wasn't super readable just cause of some, some of the text being super small. Um, so that might be something that we revisit, but the other designs that Barb has sent were pretty readable. Um, I also liked that design a lot. I liked that it was more, uh, this is not like a, it doesn't sound like a positive word, but it is, but like more crunchy, <laughs> you know, and a little bit more um, close in line with the idea that we are a guild and a collective of people, you know? Mm -hmm. um so less less organizational I think is more what I'm saying less 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 removal of the human being behind the design you know um because a lot of the things that I've been designing I'm just like here's the very base level <laughs> of design I'm not trying to put anything too heavy into it um and then as far as like a rebrand we're kind of talking about it that might be something that we look into too um I think CMYK would be like a fun thing, but it, well, I don't know if it would get too limiting. I don't know. I don't know. You can kind of just infinitely do CMYK on top of each other forever. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I would be fine with a rebrand. Um, most of it was just like me going, I don't know, purple. <laughs> so. No, that's I fine. That I said fine. CMYK and my brain was like, yes. <laughs> that's, that's the only reason I brought a free brand. Yeah. Um, I do think, uh, oh no, that wasn't what I was trying to say. I was trying to ask the question, Olivia, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, do you have anything else that you wanted to like ask us or bring up or that happened at the meeting? Um, yes. Um, okay. 
So we, as a team, decided we're going to try Trello, um, which is an app that's to help with picking tasks and assigning tasks. So um, all the tasks set until May 3rd have been decided and chosen. So we're going to try and implement this after May 3rd. Um, but that way anyone can go in and see who has what. And it's not like one email, one mass email has to go out at the beginning. And if that gets lost, we have no idea who's doing what anymore. So we're gonna try and incorporate that um, once we get into May. And the, oh, the other thing was um, where we place the designs um, once they've been completed. Um, if there was like a folder, which like maybe in the, dis in each, Group, there's a folder that just says design and that's where we can upload everything for each team or if in the design uh, folder itself we have all the other team folder names um, in it and like you could go into design and go into the folder that it is with the group you're a part of or like the team you're a part of and then you can pull from there. I just don't know which one is um, would be easier for everybody else but one designated place because a lot of us were confused on who to send it to. You like the second option? Okay. I can make those folders in, in the drive. I was also thinking about doing something similar, like, because I was, that's, that was like exactly what you're talking about, Olivia, um, with like the organizational file structure of everything. Like, that's what I, that's how I was setting up G, our Gmail labels. And I actually wanted to extend that into drive as well. So I can also take that on. Um, just because that's like something that I was like already thinking about a little bit um, and like we can see like if we like that organizational format um, for everything um, but yeah I, I really like that idea as well. Um, the labels you're talking about would be um, members team and board slash interim board right? Right and then like so for teams like for the Google Drive folder like we would just have folders and subfolders within each one and then it would like we could I could easily just have one that would be like designs um, or graphics um, for each folder in the team section. Awesome okay yeah we yeah. can try it multiple ways and see what works best. I'm, I'm open to anything. Same yeah but yeah I'll, I'll be happy to help out with that because that's something I was already thinking about doing. Like I was just going to do it on my own. And then you said that I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> and then I had one question not to complicate things, but for this is fully for my own like comprehension. So if we have like an event, right? So let's say we're talking about the final Fridays, the open studios. Um, we can either just reuse, like recycle the same design um, or something new could be designed but what I'm wondering is, would that end up in the Instagram folder or would that end up in, mostly I'm asking for the newsletter so I know where to look for people's designs or would there be like a separate folder for newsletters or how, how are we thinking about dealing with like the m multiple platform kind of a thing? Or would it just be a folder that says events? I don't, I have no preferences either way. I'm just wondering. I'm under the impression that it's a lot of like Russian nesting dolls. So like the in initial three folders you see would be uh, members team board, interim board. And then within that, each one would have like each team folder. And within that you have all of your media. Yeah, 100%. And it doesn't even have to be that. Like we could do something different where it's like, I don't know, internal, external, it's like two and then like for internal purposes and then for like public events or something like that. I don't know, like it's something I'll have to like think about the, or like I'm gonna try to look and see like the way that we're using the drive folder right now and then organize like from there. But that's that's something that I think like, yeah, we can also like organize too. But yes, it's exactly like a Russian nesting doll type situation. Okay, thank you, that helps, that helps my brain acclimate um and i also think that sounds good because then things can be outside of a specific folder mm -hmm. too and that makes a lot okay perfect Something i'm just saying yes that. in a variety of ways sorry <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Olivia, Olivia. something else that might be helpful to find things maybe we do break it down into like events newsletter things like that and then with inside that that's when we have the team members um 
because I feel like it might be better to have bigger, a few more broad categories and then narrow down to the three and then continue narrowing down. Just a thought. Like I said, we can, we can play around with this a lot. Sounds good. And then my last question. So we would know that it's finished through Trello, right? This, when Sorry, we get to that then? May point. So we would know, um, I'm trying to pick, I mean, everything will be done before then. So let's say a design graphic for the website, because we're not there yet, mm -hmm. is being worked on and then it's ready. And whoever's in charge of website would be notified through Trello, right? Um, I'm gonna tentatively say yes. I have it, I have Trello downloaded on my iPad, but I haven't actually had a minute to play around with it. Chuan is the one who's really like good with it. Um, Stephanie, maybe you've messed around with it a little bit and could answer Becky's question. But in theory, I believe it would be, you would get a notification or if not, we would just, either whoever is working on that project could email um, the head of whatever team, maybe the whole team or the head in the secondary um, saying like, hey, finish the graphic um, or it's just on each person to check. Trello periodically, but like I said, I haven't really messed around. So Steph, maybe you can speak to that. Yeah, uh, it sounded like, cause I also haven't used it, but when Tuan described it, um, she was saying, it'll say like, these are tasks that haven't been assigned to anybody. And then you as one of the design team people can assign yourself to it. And then it will show that it's in progress. And then when it's finished, it'll go to like a finished section is how I understood it. So yeah. it shows you where the project is at whatever step in the app. Okay, cool. So it would just be like, instead of me texting Olivia, I would just check Trello. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a, virtual, I've used it, it's like a virtual bulletin board type situation. So, I mean, like, yeah, things will just move and you can totally see it. Yeah, I've never used Sortable or Airtable, Airtable, sorry, it's Airtable. I've never used that, but yeah, it's, you should be able to just see it. Okay, cool, cool. I'm sorry, I needed the prep for like my brain. <laughs> um, Perfect. That's really exciting. I am also kind of wondering if if that method works really well, we might just fully shift teams to Trello because I'm, I'm also kind of wondering how much bigger our teams are going to get when we're officially incorporated, you know? Um, they might just shrink. That's also a possibility. They might stay the same, but there's part of me that's like, if these teams get much bigger, coordinating on Discord is going to be hmm. <laughs> not not perfect, um, doable, but not perfect for every team, especially for like YouTube, where there's a little bit more need for like that contact and the visual of just, I just need to know if it's done or like mm -hmm. what level of progress you're in. So mm -hmm. I'm not pushing anybody in that direction. I think it should be up to whatever team member, but it would be cool if this is like a helpful way to do that. Um, yeah, it's all in how you organize it. Like it can be really useful in small teams, but I think like when, if it gets a little bigger, it can be a little chaotic, but yeah, small teams, like it works really well. And like my partner and I were using it one time, like when we were um, thinking like our apartment and like organizational stuff and like we were able to have like, okay, this board here is like our wish list, And then these are like our current projects that we're like working on. And then like this one over here, is like the finished board. And so like things that are in progress, like we sort it over to the finished one. So that way we can like see it. And then like, if like I was researching something, I could like add like a link or something and then vice versa, they could do the same thing. And then we could just like look at it and be like, oh, they added this thing. Um, so it works really well in small groups, I would say. I would actually be super down for it in YouTube. Um, mm -hmm. Just because it would be a way to know, like, you know, here are the videos that are like in progress, or, you know, and then like have one like captions, like what's done, what's not done. And it would be like a way to like log into your, for the volunteers to like log into like their Trello board page and um, just sort of visually see like what's going on and where things are kind of at with that. 
and it would also alleviate like kind of questions on my end. I'm sorry, now I'm jumping ahead to YouTube, but <laughs> like okay. I'm, I'm jumping, I could like, it would alleviate some of the questions that I would have. I'd be like, okay, I don't actually know like where you left off on captions, you know? And so like, I wouldn't have to like go in and check in. They, I could just like see, and I was like, oh, cool. They like checked it off. Yeah, I could definitely see the advantage of that with YouTube. And with that, um, is that everything for design? Oh, okay, perfect. Olivia answered in the chat, um, unless Steph has anything else to say about it. I don't think. No, I don't, I don't. Okay, word, awesome. So yeah, on to YouTube. Um, this is actually more of a question that I had for you, Ruben, that I forgot to ask you previously. <laughs> so I know you lost one volunteer, um, but I think you got another one, but yeah, I'm Emma. not 100. Okay, okay, cool. I have Emma right now. And then was there another one after Emma? I'm like, it's been, it's also been, we haven't had a YouTube video in a while. So I haven't like, my head hasn't been in YouTube for a, for a minute. Yeah, I think. I, uh, <laughs> I think, no, it wasn't Jameson, because that's uh, mailing. Mailing, yeah. I remember people in relation, like the way that they relate to each other, not the team. So I'm trying to think, like, I think, did, did Joey reach out, or am I imagining that? Joey. I imagining that. Let me look in the email real quick, because that would probably answer my question quickly. I don't know. Um, I don't, yeah, Enriquez. Oh, Enrique. Oh, yeah, no, I don't know. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think, I think that might just be like a legacy memory from some other time frame. Um, okay, cool. So do you need me to put any kind of like call into the, into the volunteer groups for you or do you think you're good? Yeah, I would like, I don't want to put like a lot of work on Emma. Like I would love to have at least two volunteers right now. Like I would love to have somebody who only captions like board meetings and then have somebody who only captions the incorporation meetings. Cause those are the two primary um, bits of YouTube content we're producing right now. Um, it's just those right there. Um, and until it gets like, until we kind of expand, you know, what we're putting out on the YouTube channel, then you know, like I won't need anything else, but for now, like I would, that would be kind of useful, I think, because I don't want to like overwhelm Emma. Okay. Okay, cool. And then I'll definitely like put out a specific call for that um, in the next newsletter for on Tuesday. Um, I think other than that, is there anything else for YouTube? Not really, just because like we've we haven't had that many meetings lately. So, because I think the open studio event, we, since we didn't record that, um, there wasn't anything to do. So, so, it's been good. I mean, like for the most part, you know, we just have we you know, like usual the flawed captions that Zoom produces, um, and so they just like the captions just need to be audited, but every video like at least has something like bare minimum just not like the all the corrections yet so Perfect. i think i would okay. be really into starting up the trello board for youtube um that might be something that i look into and start setting up i'm sorry there's a ghost screaming on tv i hope you can't hear that <laughs> No, unfortunately, I can't. <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> Not a real ghost. My bad. I should probably give more context clues to that. <laughs> a pretend ghost from, you know, Scooby Doo land. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. All right. So then that, I think, brings us to the general section. Um, I left in the act of recruiting of volunteers. I ended up spending a lot more time interacting with people for like Takeover Tuesdays than I anticipated. Just, I just didn't personally think about how much time it was going to take to like actually get people scheduled and stuff. Um, so I haven't made any real headway here. Um, I think though, 
other than like, I guess the headway that I have made is I've put it into the newsletter and gotten a few responses. Um, a lot of like <laughs> guilt responses from people where they're like, I really want to help you, but I can't. <laughs> and I'm like, it's fine, it's okay. Um, but that's also part of why I'm wondering if there are going to be um, kind of an uptick in May, especially with it looking like a lot of universities are gonna go back into to in-person in the fall. Um, I think a lot of people might be thinking they'll have a little bit more time because they're not having to fully uh, digitize their lectures anymore um, or partially. So, or their <laughs> demonstrations, which, you know, we all know that takes a lot of time out of the day. Um, so I do think that's somewhere that I could do a little bit more work. Uh, I probably should have prioritized it a bit more, but I'll prioritize it more in the future. Um, and then I was wondering if any of y'all know anybody in person that has been asking you about volunteering. Um, I'm curious what level of interest people are having in that. Um, and then I think the other, the last question I have about volunteering is we're getting pretty close to May. Incorporation is slowing down a little bit, um, but I do kind of wonder like, once we are incorporated, we're gonna need a whole website team. And so I'm wondering what we'll do at that point too. So if anybody has any ideas in their minds about what to do, as far as switching over, I guess, is not the perfect way to say it, but switching over our priorities from incorporation to, because that full team is gonna be just uh, dissolved. Um, so I'm curious what y'all think about, like, should I send out an email letting them know, or I don't know, what are your thoughts? Sorry, that was a very vague question, series of questions, but. <laughs> I mean, I think it makes complete sense for incorporation to um, dissolve and then to, but also maybe like transform then into the website team. Um, it doesn't have to be the exact same people either, you know, and it may just be, I don't know, Olivia, maybe design, like embrace, like that's where um, design does a lot of stuff with the website. I think like if we're thinking about making like a brand guideline or you know like a rebrand entirely that could then decide like how we how our website takes shape yeah i could see um design and website kind of merging because i, I do feel like a lot of that uh there's a lot of crossover mm -hmm. probably the most crossover with design than any other team so yeah mm -hmm. I think Right, just yeah. I, feel like, I feel like we should put out a call for volunteers. I don't know timing wise. It feels a little early to me to like um, talk about like before we even incorporated, like we're moving on to the next thing. So I think we should um, get finished with being incorporated and, and then like put a call out or maybe like a week or two before or something like that. Um, and then we could put out a call for volunteers that are like specifically comfortable with, you know, website design could give us some insight about like what platform to use and would be able to dedicate time to building it and everything. I, I mean, cause yeah, I feel like uh, people like specific stuff also. So if we can specifically call, you know, we want web designers, we want people who can give us advice about this. Like, I think that we'll get a little bit better response than if it were like a general thing. Yeah, I definitely know we had um, one or two people who specifically are web designers or designers in general that had reached out to us when we first began last year. And there's a big part of me that's like, thank you. Uh, <laughs> but also I wonder if, you know, if I send out that call, if they'll be interested again. So I can look through the emails and see, you know, who those people were and reach out to them individually too. Um, but yeah, I agree that maybe that specific call would be good. Um, I know I am getting a bit ahead of myself, but it's something I've been thinking about as I'm recruiting volunteers. Some of the teams are going to just fully change shape <laughs> once we're incorporated. Um, 
So I think that's something also that we'll also have to have a conversation about when we get there. Um, but yeah, okay, cool. That that that's very helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We won't. We'll think about it in our little in the back of our brain, you know. Um, yeah. And then I think that was helpful, by the way. Like I wrote down all these suggestions that y'all gave um, me for how to kind of inter interact with that shift. Um, I think other than that, are there any additional issues or like opportunities or anything? Um, I just wanted to ask if we could, and I can, I can spearhead this, um, putting a call out to our membership who are either, or who are graduating either undergrad or grad school or even a PhD program, um, just so we can kind of highlight our members who've done that. Um, kind of like meet our members where like, I mean, they could either show, uh, it could be a list potentially even, it doesn't have to be like images, but just something to be like, y'all did it, we see you. Um, this is a huge feat, congratulations, like something like that. I love that idea, especially, yeah, celebrating our membership um, and after like a year of COVID. <laughs> so. Yeah, because I know a lot of, a lot of um, the third years here just had their oral defense on Friday and a lot of them were like posting to uh, Instagram like, got my thesis and like, mm -hmm. this feels so anticlimactic. I feel so bad for them. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I think multiple people might enjoy that. Yeah, I think it sounds great. Let me know how you would need help with that. I'd be happy to help. Yeah, right, right now, I think it's just, um, and this is something we could potentially talk about in the group chat, but like how to illustrate is not the right word, but like how to show it essentially. Like, is it a list of just names and where they went to school and what they're earning? Or is it like, little headshots or like pictures of them at their thesis if they got to go to like a physical one or like shots of their thesis. Thesi? Is that the plural of thesis or is thesis already plural? Thesis. 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 There we go. I feel like I knew that at one point from science, but <laughs> um, yeah. So it's just gonna be brainstorming right now about how it looks, how it takes shape. Um, that's what I need the most help with. But I just wanted to throw that out there. I like that idea a lot. And I like the way that you're conceiving of it right now too, because my brain definitely hit like a blockage where I was like, wait, we like do a post for all of them. Cause my, I, that's what we did for rise and pull. But I think the way that you're talking about it is really helpful because that way it's, it's kind of like a, oh gosh, I've forgotten what it's called in the, um, like the, you know, the thing they give you at graduation I want to call it a colophon because that's what my brain wants to do. <laughs> oh, um, yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that list, kind of like that. I think that would be a really great kind of commendation for our students, that, or not just students, but like people who went to school yeah. or accomplished something academic. I think that would be great. Um, Sample of names, yeah. So that mm -hmm. would be a cool thing. Um, maybe, maybe the newsletter could be like textually where it is and then like on Instagram like we just have like a really special um, like that's where we can show like images to of like their shows and um, and whatnot so that way it's like they're kind of like two different things and then we can also include a link to like the individual posts as well or like I don't know maybe it's a highlight it's a story highlights that we do um, on our page um, that's but, a like, good idea yeah yeah yeah, and then we could also include like links to their websites on the um, on the newsletter, right? Like, so it's their name, their degree that they get, um, the school they came from, and then their website. And so we can ask for like those things um, from from like our membership. That way, we can kind of like share it and um, promote it. I think they would. I think they would really love that. Um, and potentially also, um, if there, are, if we do get like an influx of people who are like, yeah, this is everything, and we don't have 
um, we're not gonna have enough like posts to be able to show everybody. We could just come up with like a little graphic um, that kind of just like says congratulations or can look a little bit more like congratulations to the class of 2021 or mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of like um, uh, graduation t-shirts, like commemorative t-shirts. You know how they have that design on the back mm -hmm. that basically lists everyone. <laughs> I think that would be really cool. I like this idea a lot. Um, okay, so um, the other thing I would need potentially help with is like creating a like call or like Weifu form or Google form or something for people to like put all that information in. Because I am not not that kind of not the kind of girl. I'm not very good with tech, so <laughs> <laughs> that would be something I would need help. With. I think if it's like what if it's just like a Google form requesting like kind of that information that we would need then yeah I, I i wouldn't mind helping yeah i'd be down to help with that doesn't seem like it would be like a lot of info like it would just be kind of the things that i listed so here let me actually write these down so like name degree school website and then I guess like it would be kind of like a meet our members post where like we also add, like we could just like mimic the meet our members. Um, oh yeah, Insta handle, thank you. Like we can just like kind of use the same form template. Yeah. That all sounds good to me. Okay, okay. When would you like that by Olivia? That is a great question. <laughs> I, I don't know, it's not that pressing. And I feel like if we don't get it right around graduation time, like it's not the end of the world because they'll still be getting recognized. I think mm -hmm. maybe if we could have it done by June at the latest, yeah, okay. big one in June. Big one in June, okay, okay. So maybe if like we have that form by the end of May? I'll try to get it the form by the end of April because I would love to spend the month of May gathering names. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So that's going to be, I'll just make that my deadline form end of May or end of April. Sorry. End of April. Yeah. Cause it, it's not, it's not a very in-depth form to make. So I think it would just be like, yeah, the sooner we could promote that, the better, I think. Honestly, Ruben, you could just copy, like make a duplicate of one of the forms we already have and then just yeah. like delete the questions, make it, give it a new title and a new theme. And then like, it'll be done in just a few minutes. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking of for for this. Like, I was just like copying maybe the meet our members one. Cause I think that has everything too that we would need. Let me look at it. I'm looking at it right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is great. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then as far as just the graphics go, um, I can definitely help as far as like the newsletter, however you want to do it with the newsletter, I'm down to be a part of that. And then um, I'm trying to be a little bit more conservative with my time because I have a few things that have come up. Uh, that'll take some of my time away from me. Um, but I do think I can at least help with this newsletter graphic. So. Or whether it's a graphic or it's a PDF or whatever it ends up looking like. This is exciting. I'm excited that we can do this. That was a very good idea, Olivia. I definitely think it's going to be fun to give our, you know, I keep saying our students, like we're the ones that taught them, but <laughs> the student members, that kind of celebration, because it's not really, it's a weird year. It's just a weird year. <laughs> um, but yeah, cool. Was there anything else um, that we wanted to talk about? whether it's about that, Olivia, or something else, some other aspect of the guild's work. Cool. Cool. And then I guess the last thing um, was I went ahead and made the changes on Discord. 
And I think Discord's just going to be what it is. Sometimes people are going to just like really start popping off on it. <laughs> and sometimes people aren't. And I think that's going to be fine. Um, but I do, it's been a lot nicer to have those kind of whittled down sections to just say like, this is where pictures go. This is where you just talk to each other. Um, I think that's kind of, that's really all I wanted to say about that. But I just wanted to let y'all know it has been moderately simplified. Oh, and I wanted to ask, I forgot, I wrote this down and I forgot to say it. As time goes on, should I start eliminating the um, channels that aren't used by like teams? So specifically, like if YouTube goes fully onto Trello and Divine goes fully onto Trello, should I just go ahead and delete those? Or should I just leave it up to the, you all have the ability to delete those as well. So should I just leave it up to y'all or is it okay if I go for it? I'm kind of okay either way. Sorry, I like had to think about it for a second. Cause at first I wanted to be like, yeah, it's totally fine. But then I was like, well, wait, I don't know. Like, but I don't, I like from what I've understood like Emma doesn't really, um, use it as much and so she was like i prefer either like email or text so um yeah i think we can just go ahead and, like we can delete them okay just let me know when y'all reach the point where you feel comfortable deleting them so mm -hmm. like if design is ready to just delete it right now and y'all just notify everybody involved in that team i'll go ahead and delete it um but if you want to wait until after like trello is fully set up and y'all are on that end of the kind of spectrum feel free to do that too um just let me know and then i'll try not to just delete things <laughs> without you know at least one person saying yeah we're ready to let this go um but there's part of me that wonders because the only reason we were really doing any of the team coordination in discord was to have transparency and there's a big part of me that's like yeah that's great um but also we can just I mean, we have open meetings, we invite people to our meetings. Oh, yeah, Kay asked to keep the design one a little longer. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Um, but I also kind of just want the discord to be the community, instead of being bogged down with like, <sighs> the machinations of the guild, you know, I don't know. That's my personal thought, because it's kind of fun to just have it be the fun part of interacting with one another unless the job part <laughs> you know it's kind of like saying sometimes when i look at discord notifications i'm like nah, i don't want to look at that right now because my brain's not ready to do work and then i look at it and i'm like oh this had nothing to do with work it was just somebody asking me like a fun question <laughs> oops you know and they're now off the discord and we can't have a chit chat so yeah, I think maybe I'll leave it yeah. up to everybody to make individual teams, but that's where I'm kind of falling with it. Yeah, I've been kind of off of Discord too, because like I use it for teaching. And I think like my brain automatically lately has been like, oh my God, if I get on Discord, it's for teaching. And so like, I've just been like staying off of it. I think like for my own sake. Um, but one thing I was thinking about, uh, and this maybe like, Okay, this may um, be like a good resolution for um, your your suggestion about like wanting like looking back at them. Maybe we just create an archive category and just like move old channels into there, and that way, like we can still reference it and keep it for transparency's sake. Like we're not like deleting that history, but like we're just we just archived it. It's not in use anymore. Um, I think you can even like, we can even just turn, turn like everything in that category off. Like nobody can post in that, you know, but that way it's not like gone. We can reference it back a little bit later. Um, and so, and then that way it just, the active channels are the ones that are more at the top. So. Yeah, I think that's perfect. And it's, it's pretty easy for me to turn off the ability for anybody to post in them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, and then if anything ever happens and you know the membership is like, actually we'd like to 
renew that it's really easy to unarchive something too mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. you just mm -hmm. change the settings basically and move it to a different area but i think that's a good idea it's, i think it's a better better plan than just being like okay goodbye forever mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> you know cool cool okay yay that's all that i have and we're whoa we're 35 minutes early y'all I know, right? <laughs> this is the earliest <laughs> meeting we've ever had. Cool. Um, I don't know if anybody has anything else that's just like occurred to them while we've been, you know, going through all of this, but um, feel free to, I guess, add anything else that you'd like to, you know? Yeah, I don't think I have anything. Cool. Cool. I don't either. Um, awesome. Well, thank you all. <laughs> Meeting adjourned. No more recording. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm going to go and stop the recording here then. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> cool. Yeah.